Hello everyone, uh, this is Nick here, aka the Gandork. Uh, I was going to record a quick little how-to video on how to use the Set1 Booster Pack generator that I created for TTS. Um, I was doing this as a request, uh, Mike Jim, aka Bobby Sapphire, uh, KTOD, he, he wanted to see, because I had made this, and this is what I used to make the packs that I had passed around for the community. Um, but anyway, let's get started. I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, you need to download the zip file uh, for the set one booster pack generator table that is posted. I don't know, I put it in a few discords. You can find it. Someone can hand it to you if you haven't seen it. And then once you do so, uh, you need to put the zip or well, the contents of the zip in your saves folder. Right now I just have the set one booster pack generator tables up here and then you can extract it. Now here, when I say here, usually by default um, for Steam Tabletop Simulator, uh, the folder for the table saves is whatever your, you know, personal user folder is and then documents, my games, Tabletop Simulator saves. And in that folder, that's where you'll put it and then extract it into the folder and right here i got my set one booster pack generator it has a json which is just like the image or the it has a png that's the image for the icon it has a json that's the actual code for how it works uh, but you just need this in here now a common mistake that players would make is that they'll put it in their saved objects folder uh, what you see here is the next folder down the save save objects but this is where deck files go or other objects like tokens or things but like if you save a deck it goes into this folder if you like right click save objects in tts but you do not want to put the generator here because it is a table save it is not an object because it's the only thing i have in here is the set one booster case that i also made available that's an actual object that like loads a bag full of booster boxes so very important put it in the saves folder not the saved objects folder all right so then going back to tts uh, I'm going to, if I can find the controls here, uh, just create a single player table. Um, and if you put it in the right spot, you'll see here under your save and load, it should automatically populate your set one booster pack gen table, and it'll be under this bottom row. Uh, then you can click it, it'll ask you if you want to, I'm sure you want to load it, you hit load. And it brings you into the table, and this is what it looks like. Um, important thing for the table, I don't have it default you to the right seat, so you need to be in the orange seat to see the cards that it draws for the pack. So to do that, you just click on your name in the upper right, click change color, click on the orange seat that's right there, it keeps zooming me in afterwards, and I'm in the seat to see where it puts the pack. All right, so like how the generator works is like each of these bags has essentially the set split out by rarity and color and uncommon and bases and leaders like you, you don't really need to know any of that it's just kind of how it figures out how to see the packs correctly all you have to do really to generate a pack is just click draw and it's going to automatically draw cards from each of the bags and put it into your hand for a pack uh, and then after it's done you can just highlight it hit g and there you have a stack of 16 cards and then what i usually like to do if you go objects components tools bag you can just make a bag and then flip it face down, put it into the bag. And then you can draw another one, makes a pack, group it up, drop it into the bag, make another one, highlight it, group it up, drop it into the bag. Um, and you're essentially making booster packs that way. Now, like when I make a booster box, uh, the one thing that I like to try to account for uh, is just to make sure that the leader distribution is okay because like it, this is random how it shuffles and draws from the bag so like you could theoretically get like eight or nine sabines who's a common leader which in a real life scenario like the way that they see the packs that's probably not going to happen because like they're in their own token slot they're going to be pretty evenly distri distributed <laughs> distributed among the packs so um when i go through and i like make a booster box i usually track like you know, make sure I'm only getting like two or three of each common leader. Make sure they're all represented. There's only usually four rare leaders per box. So make sure you only have four rare leaders and you're not getting like eight rare leaders um, for a better play experience. Uh, the rare and legendary bags here, they don't reset 
after each pack is made. Like when you see I make a pack, it pulls a card out of there and it goes down. So as long as you don't reload the mod, it'll never duplicate a rare or legendary in your packs, which that should keep you from like running into streaks of where like, hey, I've got, you know, five fallen lightsabers in this box, which would probably like never happen in real life either, or like not very frequently. So um, yeah, that's just kind of how, it, how I do it. And then just bag them all up and it's good to go. So uh, that's, that's the end of my quick tutorial on how to use my deck builder to build packs.